Gavin fell down so quick that it was hard to believe. I looked at my daughter who's crying and I said, what's up, baby? Why are you crying? He said, daddy, it's hurting me. My chest is hurting. People are pushing me so hard. I said, it's okay. You will make it. Try to go through. Nobody likes to leave the country where one has been grown up, lived all the life there. So it was very tough. It was so hard feeling, so I cannot express it with the words. I had a 20-year career in the Army. I did tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. The way in which the U.S. left Afghanistan after 20 years of involvement there is an incredibly painful memory for so many of us. One of the things that we promised them it's that they would have an opportunity to come to the United States. We see it as our moral obligation to keep this promise. Giving us a happy Christmas. The support that you can receive from the families that from this country is something that really gives you a lot of courage. We were very warmly welcomed. It's remarkable, it was unforgettable. Yes, I am. I'm Brown Bear. And working now with immigrants, being a person who went through all this, family, kids, going to school, being able to follow their dreams. These are all positive points that allow us to continue life. The problem still remains for so many people that are trying to leave Afghanistan. We left thousands of our allies behind. We still have the ability to keep our promise in this manner and help people restart their lives in the U.S. It's very important for Americans to consider welcoming Afghan special immigrant visa recipients and other Afghan immigrants. Please be a welcomer.